Greetings Giga Gamers, this is Gamer Chick here with a short Amnesia gameplay session. Um, I will also be doing uh, writing a review to go alongside this, but I thought it would be um, a little bit different to have uh, a video to go alongside it. Now, Amnesia The Dark Descent is a survival horror by Frictional Games who also developed the Penumbra series and it is released for Windows, Mac and Linux. So let me just carry on forward because I know what's about to happen. Quickly, get eaten alive. Um, now, Amnesia follows Daniel. He is the protagonist, um, exploring a dark castle um, while avoiding monsters, as this invisible one, as you can see below me, and just solving different puzzles. Now, now Amnesia was very well received. Um, it gained good reviews. Um, Um, and it also won two, I think it earned two awards from the Independent uh, Games Festival as well. So while I'm actually while I'm on top of here, let's go to the inventory screen. Right, so this is your inventory screen in Amnesia. You have your health meter, which obviously shows you how you're doing health-wise. And at the moment, I've just got a few cuts and bruises. Now below this is your sanity meter. This. Um, decreases over time if you're in the dark for too long or if you see a monster hear loud noises hear screams anything like that it'll decrease over time and eventually you'll go insane as many of us already are on this site anyway um, you can remedy this by using lan uh, like a lantern as I've got here um, that's the most effective way so far because you can ca obviously you can carry it around with you and just whip your lantern out as and when you need to. Um, you also have tinder boxes here which will light um, torches and candles but obviously those are stationary you you'd have to stay in that area um, and, ob and just as a note staying in light doesn't stop monsters from coming for you either. Um, you need, if you see a monster you need to run and hide you have no weapons you only have your mind to uh, you just have to run and hide and keep keep away from them until they pass pass you by or they're out of sight. Um, you also have health items, obviously, to um, improve your health, help heal wounds. This is the oil gauge. Um, lets you know how much oil you've got left before it runs out. Your journal, which keeps your notes that you've picked up through the castle and uh, diary entries. So let's get back off that. The um, controls are pretty straightforward. You know, W A S D um, space back to jump. Oh my god! That was close. So yes, they are pretty straightforward. There's nothing too. Um, there's nothing too hard about the controls. It's more. It's more the puzzle aspect of things, I think. If you, especially if you're not a big puzzle gamer and you don't know, you're not. That's not your thing. Like I'm not really a, a big puzzle gamer as such. Um, let's have a look. Uh, the graphics. Um, you know, they, I mean, they don't compare with games like, you know, Mass Effect for the PC or. Even Fable, if we're gonna, if you're gonna go down that route, but it's not. The game isn't about the graphics. Like some games look pretty, and that's all they ride on. They just ride on the court tales of, um, you know, image-wise. Um, but this is more about atmosphere and how the game makes you feel um, more than anything. And plot plays a big part in this as well. Um, I'm not going to ruin the plot for you, which is why I'm not going to um, go much further in the game. I don't want to ruin the game for anyone who hasn't played it. Oh, heck, 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 heck. So that's what happens if you step in the water, kids. Don't do it. Not in here, anyway. So I'll just quickly use her. While we're here. Um, I believe also Amnesia, there's going to be a sequel to Amnesia, 
uh, called A Machine for Pigs, which sees frictional teaming up with the, the Chinese Room, who are a British independent video game development studio who are best known for making experimental first-person adventure games like Dear Esther. Uh, now, Dan Pinchbeck, the writer of Dear Esther, has said that it's not going to be a direct sequel to Amnesia. It's, um, it's not going to follow on from the story, and it's not going to involve the same characters. Uh, the game's going to be set in the same universe, but with an alternate history. Right. So, don't expect it. Don't expect anything. If you were expecting a sequel, you know, to carry on straight from this, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, not really at the moment, anyway. Um, I would definitely. I, I would recommend. I can't recommend Amnesia. Amnesia highly enough to anyone. It's 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 superbly done. It's fantastic. The the way the see. I mean, you've got books here that can uh, that can distract them. Obviously, I didn't distract them very far. But. Look, it'll walk over there, and then you can. Uh, But it's not long before it comes back, obviously. So I'll cut it short there, but I would definitely say um, to give Amnesia a go. If any of your friends have got it, or any of your mates, give it a go. About an I would say definitely in about an hour, an hour and a half to get into it. Um, and you can make up your own minds after that. Um, but it's, it's... I would say Amnesia is probably one of the... It's, I think it's been a... A, def a defining game, I think, in survival horror. It's definitely overtaken um, Silent Hill as my favourite survival horror. There's something about Amnesia that it's terrifyingly addictive. You're absolutely terrified to go any further, but... But you want more, and I'm going to get hit, I'm going to get hit, I'm going to get hit. But you want more. You want to know what's going on, you want to know what the plot's all about. You just want to keep going and going. Um, so I'll cut it short there because I think that's all I can manage for at the moment. I have a very low threshold for jumpy moments. Um, I hope you enjoyed the short walkthrough um, so far um, but I'll be putting up the text for you to go with this. And the next time um, you will have me in a video will be in the next few days with Adam and I think Rampant Doodle doing a, and I think a few others doing a multiplayer session on Battleforge, so that should be less stressful and less terrifying, I hope, than this. I hope they're very gentle with me on it. Um, so I hope to see some of you community members on Battleforge as well, so we can all get together and have a good session. Um, so that's it from me, from Amnesia. Uh, keep on gaming, Giga Gamers.